Hello everybody, this is Surya Asui, and welcome back to some more Trade Winds Legends. Now, in the last video, uh, let's see. What, what do we have in there? Oh yeah. We had a, we, we had, I had the, uh, to buy some lots of ships here. I have a fleet, I think I'll check here. Oh, I have all, <laughs> I have nine of these, uh, dragon ship and one beam and now, so... Let's do this and let's go for it. Or should I say, let's continue our uh, our quest. Oh, we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any quests in Alakazam. Uh, we have. Do we have a quest in Ramat? Yes, we have. Oh, black smoke. No, oh, a magic dagger. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna ex ex accept this task. Captain Hassan, may I introduce to you my personal sage, Hadawi. This is a matter of, of dire importance which requires him to travel from the city, and word has it you are the safest bet for getting him to his destination in one piece. I am sorry, we must meet under these certain circumstances, good captain. In your travels over the past weeks, you surely have noticed the black clouds, which every day stain the dawn sky. I fear it, it I fear it, I fear is it an ill omen an e of evil magic or war of brewing. Now that you mention it, I have noticed it's been a, a bit on the hazy side lately. Makes for gorgeous sunrises. Sunrises, though. Please, Hassan, you must grant me passage on your ship. To interpret, to interpret the this this dark sign, I must confer with the with the prophet Hussein in the temple in Halakal. The fate of the Ten Kingdom may depend on it upon it. Okay, let's head over to, uh, Halikau. Oh, we got out of battle. Good lord. Here we go! We're gonna 80,000 I'll take it. Okay, we're in Halikau. Now, uh... Where we have it? The temple? Talk to the same. Hadawi, your old and trail reader. It's been a dynasty since I saw you last. I expect this isn't a social call. You guess truly, my friend. The smoke clouds the loon in the sky warn of danger to come. And on the way here, we were attacked by a fleet of suspiciously well-organized pirates. We barely escaped with our lives. I had things under control! Yes, I too have been watching these creeping kumuli with growing in growing uh, trepidation. I am reminded of an illustration I saw once in the Book of the Heavens. I cannot recall the passage, but I believe it spoke of the clouds heralding a, men a menace which was a scourge of flying vessels a thousand years ago. Perhaps I can find the entry again. If the chief to the Bahil High were, were to permit us access to royal library. We must inve investigate further, good captain. May we impose upon you for another voyage? Of course. I think I have some overdue fines to pay there anyway. Okay. Let uh, to the palace of Mahil High. <laughs> Uh, nope. Where's the reference se section? Wise Lord, we must have access to the Book of the Heavens. A disaster of untold proportions is in store if we don't act quickly. By all means, make make free use of my library. Well, if it's the great Captain Hassan, you still haven't returned that copy of Men Are from, from Mars. Women are from Venus, you know. I thought it was about astral navigation, okay? 
I, tr I translated the, rel the relevant chapter, and the news isn't good. The smoke is a sign of magical army known as the Black Cloud, led by the mad Jean Zahn. The legends say she lived aboard her flying ship, the Hellcat, and never set foot on the land except the sack of the city. The Black Cloud ruled the skies up for hundreds of years, until the curse or cursodium of trees combined their powers to banish her from this world. If she has somehow returned, and she be building her diabolical fleet, trade throughout the Ten Kingdoms would grind to a halt. Not to mention she was my intent for a descendants of those who exiled her. We must return to Halakal and consult my copy of the Zoo of the Dejean copy. It may tell us how to stop this creature. Uh-oh, let's head back to Halako. I don't know what the th uh oh Wait, I'm gonna have to, uh, repair my ship. Uh... Oh, they saw me at the original. What the fuck? Oops. Okay, time for a port battle in Halako. Sagira Dio. Uh-oh. Head over the Book of the Heavens, or face a steal in the army of the Black Cloud. As kind of an offer as that is, I have to decline. <laughs> I decline too. Let's do hell battle. Oh my. <laughs> that was easy enough. 579,000, I'll take it, and on a, and a y large yellow diamond, I'll take it. Well, well, you still can, Worm. The mighty Dijinzan has been reborn, and she shall devour all those who cross her. Really? Is she hot? Oh, for God's sake, stop being an idiot. Let's see the codex. Yes, it appears the Black Arts could allow the banished Dijin to summon back to this world. The portal requires an incantation and... Oh dear. The taking of a life unrealized. God help us! I fear I know what that means. And the, re and the reversal of the sac... And the reversal of such a spell always requires a sacrifice of e equal weight. Hassan, you must take this sealed message to this to the merchant to the magic merchant at Alkazam. Hatawi and I must re remain here in the temple to commence preparation for the summoning. Uh oh. To Alkazam. <laughs> Not again. Another port battle? Drop your weapons, puny human. The great son has returned to bring peace to these lands, and the lives of the few misguided shifts rats are a small price to pay. I heard she devours anyone who opposes her. Is that how she plans to bring peace? She can't that good. How about I impress my death in the form of a cannonball through, through your hole? <laughs> Let's bring it on. Fire! Well, that took it down. Yeah, that took it down at the moment. 651,000 and the yellow diamond. I'll take both. I warn you, do not pit yourself against the mighty Zan. Soon she will conquer all the kingdoms of the earth and rule benevolently with her iron fist. Excuse me. You really got into a black cloud orientation speech, didn't you? <laughs> okay, uh, do you have any, uh, a dragon ship? Yes, I can. Got to sell the last, uh, Demonos ship and, uh, buy my ship. There we go. 20 of these. Okay. Okay, I gotta buy one of these. Uh, do I have one? Uh, okay, I have four. Okay, good. Here, read this. This is most shocking. I have the item the sage request. 
Well, I pray it is not intended for the purpose I expect. Abdul, bring the incubator. That's a quite a nest egg you've got there. This is one of the rarest and most precious items in, in the known world, an unborn rock. If it means the difference between peace and war, I must give it to you, but I weep to think of its fate. Well, can't save the world without breaking a few eggs. Oh yeah, okay, let's, first I need to sell a, uh... Large yellow diamond for a million, a million, uh... A million denarii, and of course a yellow diamond. There we go. Now I have, uh, nine, nine million. Nice. Let's head back to Halikau. Who wants scrambled? Thank goodness, Hagos Hamana Degbe had a rock egg. Working with the Dijin Codex, we have determined a way to solve the problem of Zan once and for all. But we need one more special item. In the back of Sabrilla, there is, on display in the glass bowl, a tiny replica of Zan's ship, the Hellcat. You must convince the banker to let you have it. My scimitar is good at convincing. Alright, now let's head over to Sephirola. And we have a battle. What the? Oh no. Captain Zan! She's back! Oh my god! We meet again, mortal! I have been hearing most ir irritating reports about you from my flat account at like that. Black clouds, why do you interfere with my plans for world peace? Has anyone actually ever explained to you the concept of peace? Well, I think there is... I think there are some important tenets that you're not quite getting. I know that to create you created. You must prepare for war. Or in your case, prepare your death. Okay. In that case, you can kiss my ass. Bring it on! I told you, do not mess with the power of the frog. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 667,000, and I'll take the uh, yellow diamond. All I want is to be the supreme ruler of the entire world. What's wrong with that? I would be good at it. Apart from the eating of human flesh, it's an acquired taste anyway. My army has already spread to every corner of the kingdoms. When next we meet, I will be Caliphus. Caliphus of all the world. And I shall take great pleasure in tearing your liver out of my teeth. Ew. You're not gonna eat my, uh, you're not gonna eat my, uh, liver anyway. You have to shit in that bottle. Isn't it? I'm hoping that it, that having it on display here will convince the new Caliphate's son to open an, an account in Bag of Sumbrella. Or at least refrain from crushing me like a bug. That's a good plan. Now head it over and I'll, or I'll crush you like a bug. Yes, I get your point. The one at the end of your skim time. Please, take the model Hellcat with my compliments. Okay, we got the we got the ball we got the ball ship. So now we head back to Halico. Are you kidding me? Another port battle? Hold on, I'm gonna have to uh, repair my ship and let's go. Ignat Paul. Oh no. Captain Zog gave me strict orders to destroy you. Me? Come on. Don't be able to see. Just kill yourself. Oh, that destroyed. 672,000 and a large diamond. Jeez, I got two large diamonds now. You're gonna pay. Those were Caliphate's son's favorite forts. She thought they had the real homey feel. Sheesh. Remind me to send her a bloodbath and beyond catalog. Okay, I got 10 million. Nice. Got the model Hellcat. 
May God be merciful. With that, we can complete the ritual. Hatawi, you know what you what you know what you must do. May your hand be steady. Why does the summon always do, come wild? I'm in the shower. Well, do you have any anything to say before I devour the souls for, of everyone in this temple? Yes. Take a look at this awesome model of the Hellcat. Wow. How did they manage to get inside the bottle? Oh, she's beautiful. Look at those teeny weensy little knots. Let me get a closer. No! What's happening? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Quickly, cork it! Silly the jeans. Always getting trapped inside common household containers. Oh look, you can see her in the Thor castle, waving her little fist. We're in your doubts, right, Hassan. The world has been saved, but I cannot take any joy in, in this victory. We will never know what abomination brought, uh, brought Zan back of this world. But to banish her, I was forced to take the life of, of an unborn rock. Here, Hassan, take my ceremonial dagger. I can no longer bear to look at it. Ew, can you wipe that goo off first? I suppose I'm taking my leave now, gentlemen. Keep that ball somewhere safe. If Zong ever gets out again, I'll be out of the Tenth Kingdoms before you can say, Ow, oh, my lover. <laughs> Alright, we got the, uh, the magic dagger. Pretty, but not too useful. Its magic consists mainly of always slicing your fingers open. No matter, no matter how you hold it, might be worth Oh, uh, resell. Wait, I have to resell it? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, oh boy. Jeez, look at this. We, we have Sabrala, Mahilhai, Alkazab, and Walnut. Petra, uh, are we gonna have a war? Huh. Hold on, do we have a, uh... Do we have a test in Shenglo? The skimmer. Oh, we have a we have a task. The skimmer of strength. Also, I appreciate everything you have done in Shenglo. Or should I say, I appreciate everything you have done for Shenglo. And I am returning for a favor today. I have just learned that the location, the location of the skimmer of strength. The portion that wields this mythic blade increases the attack power of their entire fleet. Head quickly to Alkazan, where, you, where the Skimitar lies. You're welcome. I don't know. Why would you trust me with such a powerful weapon? The evil Ashia Bean Mahir wants the Skimitar of strength as well. And I expect that you will make better use of it of the she. Get there first and secure the Skimitar. Okay, let's do this. Let's have a battle again. Aha! I knew waiting for you would pay off, Captain Hassan. No doubt you're here to find the Skimitar's strength. I won't let you live long enough to light your cannon fuses. Oh, really? Then, bring on your ass and I'll kick your ass. Seven hundred and twelve thousand, and I'll take the yellow diamond. You may have bested me today, Hassan, but mark my words, you haven't seen the last of Ashia B. Mahir. Glad to hear it. I've always enjoyed picking on those smaller than me. Now to find the scimitar. Okay, repair my ship. Okay. Now, where is it? No, it's not here. It's not here. Search for the scimitar. What is this? A trapdoor? It leads down the corridor to a vast chamber. Ah! There, embedded in a giant skull. The scimitar of strength. 
call Hoot who disturbs my slumber. Uh, it is I, Hassan Tazere. Oh, hey, Tazan. Oh, hey, Hassan. How is it going? Oh, whoops. I'm supposed to be following the, this threatening script. I have know this. The touch of Skimitar of strength. Unprotected means certain death. Only one who possesses the sapphire of light can draw the blade. That'll be gone. The sapphire of light? Never heard of it. Perhaps I should head back to Shanglo and ask Prince Mu Pig for advice. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna a, a, a battle. No! That's the spread flyer! Go for spread flyer! There we go. 675. I'll take it. 675,000. What's the sapphire of light? Legends speak of the evil prince Khalil, who used dark powers to enslave all the India. A, very, a young man freed the people with a sapphire, a gem so pure that it changed all darkness to light, thus nullifying the black magic. After defeating the Prince Kali, Khalil, the Prince of the, the Sapphire of Light and the young boy disappeared, never to be seen again. Come on, you must know something that will help me find the sapphire. Alas, all I can offer you is this final line of the legend. The sapphire of light shines only in the pure heart. Great, I'm never going to find it. Captain Hassan, I finally found you! My brother Ho, Captain Claw, works at the carpenter in Ramat. Last month, Hot Haifa, Bin Mahir, pillaged the town and kidnapped the best carpenters to work on his fleet. I've heard not hear from from Captain Claw since, and I fear for his life. Will you rescue him? I'm sorry to hear about kidnapping and all, but I'm but I'm currently kind of busy with the task with of the uncles and prince, so I beg you, please. I be I Bleh, God damn it! I beg you, great captain. You're the only. You're the only one who can who can help. Hood Haifa bin Mahir is known to sail between ports of Belmont and Mahirai. My sole hope of seeing my brother and get again rest with you. Oh, whatever. Ah, why would I? Why do I have to? Why do I have this stupid con conscience? Alright, alright. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. The stories about your courage and kindness are true. When you rescue my brother, meet me at Chang Little Temple. I will be anxiously awaiting your return. Okay. Rescue Captain Claw, who is selling between Ramat and Mahi Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna have a, uh, oh, we gotta have a first battle here. I'm always busy up doing some stuff here. Good lord. 799,000. I'll take it. Let's head over to Mahihai. Park battle. Here we go. Let's go. Seven hundred twenty-four thousand and a large yellow diamond. I'll take it. Oh, it's a mess. Okay, uh, we found our ship. Oh, I can sell some uh, lots of diamond here. Large yellow diamond. Large diamond. Okay, I think we, we sell this. Large, uh, large yellow diamond, and then that. Now I have 16,000. Nice. Okay, let's go to Rama. What may thought be Mahir? Release the prisoner, Captain Claw, at once. Or enjoy the free bail of cannonballs. 
How dare you speak to me like a common criminal? First, I will seek your measly fleet. Then I will send Captain Claw to join you in Davy Jones' locker. Uh, Davy Jones' locker in the Middle East? What the hell? God damn it. Well, take that. Take that, you magical fuckers. Jeez, what the hell? 828,000, I'll take it. Amazing! You risk your own life for me without any reward or compensation. Don't remind me. That is, your gratitude of your gratitude is compensation enough. Let's get you home to your sister. And we got another battle, a fourth battle. Okay, uh, let's do this. Okay, destroy everything in sight. There we go. 832,000 and a large yellow diamond. Nice. Prepare my ship. Okay, let's head back to Shenlo. Wee! And finally. Oh, okay, that's at the temple. Your brother is safe and sound. Thank you, Captain Hassan. Despite my haggard appearance and the lack of any reward, you showed compassion towards my brother and I. Behold, I am actually the queen of the Dijunfall. Her, her royal majesty, Thias Ex Ex Mach Machina. I have looked into your heart and found it pure. I present the sapphire of light. May it light in may it light your way to the scimitar of strength. Well, that was coincidence. I'll the Cal Alcazar to collect my collect my new scimitar. Why is that head back to Alcazar? <laughs> oh, you've gotta be. Haha! <laughs> Thought you would see the last of me, didn't you, Hassan? My spies informed me that you found the Sapphire of Light and were returning for the Scimitar. Hand it over the gem and perhaps I'll let you live. Actually, scrap that. I'd rather just kill you right here and now. Oh, you again? You little crazy bitch. Well, take it down. I'm more stronger than you, bitch. <laughs> well, I am more stronger than you. 861,000, I'll take it. You beat me again. How awkward. I should really wait until the after the battle to do my boasting and taunting, shouldn't I? Probably a good idea. Now get on my armada's way. <laughs> Return to underground chamber. Oh, who disturbs my slumber? It's me again, Kosh. Kosh, Kosh, Kosh. What the hell? It's me again, Kosh, Kosh. Look what I found. The Sapphire of Light. Brilliant. The Skimitar of Strength is yours. And I think of a better person to wield it. I trust you will, remem will remember your journey to obtain this mystic blade and use it only for noble purposes. What? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, I don't have any fleet there. Well guys, I have to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are, be sure to hit that like button down below and then hit the subscribe button for more videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Rabbit, rabbit.